Hi all, welcome back to Coding World. Today in this lead code problem solving, we are seeing one more problem, which is a number of Iceland. It is a medium level problem statement and the problem statement is like given m into n 2D grid map of 1 and 0 where 1 means land and 0 means water return the number of Iceland. An Iceland is surrounded by water and is formed by connecting adjacent lands vertically or horizontally. You may assume all four edges of the grid are all surrounded by waters. So in this given character array, uh, we have one and zero input, which is m into n array. So if that if we found one, all it's left horizontally and vertically if it is surrounded by water then we can mark it as a Iceland. Take first input here if you go 1 1 1 and then finally we get the 0 that our right side is 0 and our downside if 1 1 1 0 that means we found our first Iceland. We will mark all these uh, adjacent one with a zero and we will move to the next point. So like this in below we have three Iceland. I will code for that and I will show you the result. Let's jump to the coding. Int. This is count for our number of Iceland. Then our int i equal to zero i less than grid dot length is for and i plus plus then for j equal int int it's two day added so now so i am using two for loop j less than grid of i dot and j plus <coughs> plus logic is simple if grid of i and j equal to equal to one we will increase our count by one and then all its adjacent side mark zero so all its adjacent we will mark with a zero where we will pass grid i comma j and i will write this method public void grid so grid is a character array and i is int int j first we will define our boundaries like if i less than 0 or or i greater than grid dot length same for j greater than equal to sometimes i less than 0 or sorry j less than 0 j less than grid of i dot length this is most important if it's found water return 
in other cases read i comma j mark it as a zero now we have to mark all its left right i will call this function recursively for grids left right top bottom so i will pass grid i plus 1 comma j let me copy this i minus 1 then j plus 1 j minus 1 so this is our problem and in this return the count okay let me run my code yes this is our final output yeah it's been accepted so guys you can solve this problem like uh, using two for loop and one recursive method and find out the one and listen until you get the zero at the end mark all this founded a uh, number one with the zero and increment the count by one this is a simple logic you have you can solve this problem with the other way also but this is the best for me thank you guys happy coding